Patient's priority is established in the following order. Physiological needs take priority over psychosocial needs. But what is physiological needs? Airway, breathing, and circulation. Psychosocial needs are pain, education, and feelings. If you have a patient that has multiple problems, let's say a breathing problem and also a pain problem, the answer that deals with breathing has priority because it's a physiological need. But sometimes this is not as clear. So how do you recognize airway, breathing, circulation problems? In the NCLEX, you may see words such as diminished gag reflex or dysphagia to represent an airway problem. You might not see breathing, but you could see administration of oxygen, you could see absence of breath sounds, you could see the use of incentive spirometer. Instead of using the word circulation, you may see blood pressure, pulses, CPR, fluid status, fluid deficit or overload, IV fluids, administration of TPN, central lines, or you might even see clinical manifestations of hypovolemia such as in bleeding or hemorrhage. It is extremely important that you understand that prioritization is not always gonna be as clear. The only way you are going to develop your critical thinking process is by practicing prioritization questions every single day. Are you ready for your first priority strategy?